any purpose any wish any desire in an agitated mind it just gets lost in the remaining crowd of thoughts if only you will learn how to quieten this mind and in a quieten mind a mere wish is a command to the universe saya As far as uh, I'm meditating, but uh, silence is not happening. Still, thoughts are coming. Introspection is happening. I tell everybody, Buddha took six years to stop his mind. Nine months only, no. <laughs> Even assuming you're better than Buddha. Let's let's three years. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Madhya, don't compare me with Buddha. Buddha is the outdated. Well, I'm latest. Okay. how advanced is this now we close our eyes and we know we are getting thoughts earlier you used to live like a stranger thinking used to keep happening you used to keep scratching <laughs> now for the first time we realize thoughts la vare hey nama manta kulla masala irukku that it's it's a revelation okay for the first time you all realize upar kuch kaam kar raha hai till now idhar se kaam ho raha tha idhar se kaam ho raha tha now suddenly we realize oh upper hemisphere also something is happening right now you are at least becoming aware of your thoughts it will come in yours as a scientific mind a doctor has been brought up to think in questions an entrepreneur has been brought up in life to think in questions you all think in questions what should be my next move what should be my next project how do i maximize money how do i treat this you need to diagnose you can't simply do a You, pulse has to speak to you when you are doing the stethoscope it has to speak to you you are listening to the patient it has to speak to you so a doctor an engineer a scientist an entrepreneur has reached where he has reached in life because he thinks in questions for every question that you asked and you found out an answer was progress in your life suddenly you are going into spirituality and saying let questions stop no it won't stop the mind that has been trained to question will question including meditation it will question you can't and you are not going is something happening to you just because that fellow told okay you are sitting but actually what do you think it's happening coffee ready in any gram okay if now it's of she has done coffee won't it become cold by the time i have Matre had told, "You should always have small beginning only in life. For today, so much is enough. Coffee, uh, you'll go. Okay, everybody will have to go through. Everybody will go through. The reason Buddha was not able to experience silence is he went. He wanted to embrace silence with a question in his mind: How to remove the suffering in the world? And because you closed your eyes with a question in mind." the mind will not quiet and it will either give you counter questions or thoughts it will in fact rather than thinking meditation is not happening to me at least understand now there is a focus to your thinking your mind is thinking in the direction of your questions at least it's moved from many to a focus which itself is progress somewhere at some stage and this cannot be done by this that's why meditation is happening you cannot do it somewhere at some stage in life you don't know when how you simply drop the questions you just drop not because you have answers to all the questions but you realize every question again becomes a question every answer right now you ask me two questions i have given you answer because it's infinity path i look for the next question and continue if it's not an infinity path if only two of us were there in the car after answering your two questions you will sit or in that you will ask me two more questions you will ask two more questions in that you will ask because we are all like the children where even after the story is over the child will ask then what happened <laughs> you have with your mom dance switched off that and suddenly i am looking less enlightened <laughs> lift the screen and see mm <laughs> because the questions are from the mind 
the question mark is from your being. There's an incompleteness in our life which is the question mark in all of us. It's finding expression through the mind as questions and the questions will never stop. You can't stop the questions. But over a period of time of practicing non-doing, like it happens for many of you in the fourth or the fifth or the sixth day in HTB or sometimes in the fifth or the sixth day in HTB, suddenly for once come there saying that I have not come here for realization, I'm not, I just come here for experiences. As long as I am repeating, even if you are a Siddhartha, with a question in mind when you close your eyes, you will only have thoughts. When you drop that question and close your eyes, then you have an experience. But the lifestyle that we all have, because questions have led us to all the progress in our life, we are never free from questions. Arjuna wasn't. He wasn't. Even only time he was there was when he was flowing with the war and at the end of the war again he had questions. So it's the nature of human mind. Don't fight it. Just observe it. And you'll find that at some stage, we don't know when it cannot, you cannot accelerate yourself. At some stage, you'll just learn to simply sit at the feet of the master. You'll simply sit. At some stage, you'll simply go to a spiritual retreat for an experience. At some stage, you'll come to an infinite path. Not because I want this realization, not because I want that realization. I just want to go through that experience. At some stage, you will say, Matriya, today I do not want to listen to you. I just want to watch you in silence. At some stage, you will not want to hear me. You just want to experience me. We don't know when that happens. That doesn't mean your thinking is wrong. That doesn't mean your questioning is wrong because there is no materialistic progress without questions. The only way you can alter the pattern of your thinking is by intercepting it with questions. So each one of you have achieved the progress that you have achieved in life. Each one of you have come up with strategies, products, design ideas. Each one of you have solved the challenges of your life by asking questions. Questions have led you in in Rakelvi Keka the Nalamillai because that has only led to the entire progress. So, if you are an entrepreneur, you need to think in questions. If you are a doctor, you need to think in questions. If you are a scientist, you need to think in questions. If you have a challenge in your life which has not resolved itself for quite some time, the only way you can find a solution to it is by asking questions. That's the nature of the mind and that has led you to the progress. Don't see that as something that is wrong. Then why is spirituality asking us not to think? Why is spiritual? Because in a turbulent Pacific Ocean, even if I take the Petronox Towers twin building and throw it, you will not notice the ripples. Because it's already so turbulent, you won't even notice it. In a still water lake, if somewhere even a speck of dust that's flying in the wind comes and deposits itself on the still water lake, it will create ripples that will fill the entire lake. So in an agitated mind, when you plant any purpose, any wish, any desire in an agitated mind, it just gets lost in the remaining crowd of thoughts. If only you will learn how to quieten this mind and in a quietened mind a mere wish is a command to the universe. You just have to wish it and it will happen. Even an RCB will win. You just have to wish it. So these advanced scientists realized Right now you are planting all your desires in an agitated mind. It's getting lost in the crowd of thoughts. It's losing its potency. The more and more you learn to quieten your mind and in that quietened mind you plant that purpose in your life. The futuristic direction in your life. The sort of potency it gains. Whether it's a spiritual direction or a materialistic direction is phenomenal. So they are asking you to quieten the mind. So as long as you are quietening the mind itself, 
you are already in the right direction. You may not have yet stopped the mind. But Matriya, how do I know I am quietening the mind? The fact that you are aware of your thoughts, your mind is quiet. Because otherwise you won't even be aware of your thoughts. If your thought traffic is so high, you won't even be aware in a white line, in a traffic signal. If only one bike has crossed the white line, the police sergeant will notice it. If 22 vehicles have crossed the white line, he will ignore everything. Similarly, in an agitated mind, you do not notice any of your thoughts because there is too many thought traffic into it. Any one of you say, I am beginning to meditate but I am still getting thoughts. Itself is progress because you are beginning to become aware of your thoughts. That means the quietening process has already begun. You have a long way to go. You will have to keep going in this journey.